welcome to my channel in this lecture we are going to discuss about light emitting diode so light emitting diode is same as that of a pn junction diode which conducts in a forward bias mode moreover when we come to the construction of a light emitting diode we can see here that p type is diffused p type layer and epitaxial n type layer form the structure of a light emitting diode and it is made up of metal contacts this metal film at the anode and gold film at the cathode this gold film is the one which reflects the light from the diode to the surface so that the light is emitted in a more intensified manner so when we come to the working of a light emitting diode once the diode is forward biased there are several process that is happening you know that the electrons get excited from valence band to the con conduction band when some energy is given now when the diode is forward biased what happens let's see here this is the energy level it is it means the electrons is in the valence band when voltage is supplied it moves to the conduction band by absorbing some energy here a hole is created when the electron moves from the valence band to the conduction band so this procedure is called as energy absorption energy absorption is a procedure where the electron moves from lower energy level to higher energy level by absorbing some energy so when the electron moves from a lower energy to a higher energy level at some point at a very short amount of time it has to come to the lower energy level by emitting some energy that emission of energy is called as photons photons will be emitted that is light will be emitted when the electrons move from lower and higher energy level to the lower energy level so it releases some energy in the form of photons and after which a recombination takes place when the electron is stays at the top at that some amount of time that time is called as recombination time that is the time taken for the electron to stay in the higher energy level before recombination so the recombination occurs when the electrons move from the higher energy level to the lower energy level and at the same time photons are also emitted so when we connect an led in series with the 5 volt and 230 ohms we are observing some of the characteristics of led first we will know why this 230 ohms resistor is connected in series here led has some amount of current that it can withstand if more amount of current like more than some 100 milliamps is supplied to an led every led has a specification current specification if the current specification is exceeded the led damages so this 230 ohm resistor is protecting the led from getting damaged from very high current so this is the circuitry application of led where a 230 ohm resistor should be connected in series with the light emitting diode once again i'll explain about the construction and working mainly working i will say now this is holes these are holes these are electrons when supply is given when light emitting diode is forward biased it works in the forward bias mode their charge recombination takes place electrons and holes recombine with each other so before recombination uh, the steps that is responsible for or steps that is key for light emission is this energy absorption and i want to mention that this process where energy is emitted in terms of photon is called as spontaneous emission this is energy absorption and this is spontaneous emission so at this process photons are emitted when electrons moves from the higher energy level to the lower energy level let's have this lower energy level as n equal to 0 and higher energy level as n is equal to 1 for an example so after the photons are emitted this gold film coating the actual purpose of gold film coating is filled here has fulfilled here so this photons are reflected by this gold film coating to the top of the surface so that more and more reflection produces a intensified light in the surface of the light emitting diode okay this is the entire construction and working of a light emitting diode 
When you come to the characteristics of a light emitting diode, here you can see the current at the y axis and voltage at the x axis. You are starting to increase the voltage of a light emitting diode. Each and every diode differs with the barrier potential or forward voltage drop above which the light emitting diode conducts. That variation in the forward drop voltage is based upon the material makeup of the light emitting diode. So here increasing the voltage at a point of 3.5 or 3.7 this particular diode say this particular light emitting diode starts to conduct current. So this portion is called as knee voltage or cut in voltage just like the operation of a PN junction diode. So I hope you would understand the procedure by which how the light is emitted by the energy absorption and spontaneous emission. It is not only important for the photons to get produced but also it has to be reflected in a proper way for it to get intensified for the light energy to get intensified. For that there is this gold film coating for the light to be emitted in a very powerful way. This recombination takes place and one more the recombination takes place when the electrons reach from the higher energy level to lower energy level. Unlike PN junction diode where the recombination takes place once we apply the forward bias voltage. But in light emitting diode it will reach a higher energy level absorb some energy and reach a higher energy level and while reaching to a lower energy level it emits photons and then only charge recombination takes place. The time which, which it stays in this higher energy level is called as recombination time. So this is the working of a light emitting diode. Thank you.